What's up guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 11.1 Beta 5 to developers. And if you happen to be a public beta tester as well, you'll probably be seeing your update, public beta 5, in just a few hours after this video goes live on YouTube. Now, unlike iOS 11.1 Beta 4, iOS 11.1 Beta 5 was a really tiny update. On my iPhone 8, it only weighed in at 43.6 megabytes. Beta 4 was like a gig or almost two gigabytes, which we thought was gonna be the golden master or final release version, but Apple clearly found something something else to change, so that's why they released today's beta. iOS 11.1 is shaping up to be a pretty solid update. We have a few small animation changes, 69 new emoji characters, the return of the 3D touch multitasking gesture, and we even have some new emoji recommendations on the quick type keyboard, or additional emoji recommendations when you're typing out a text message. We are also expecting Apple Pay Cash, but even in iOS 11.1 beta 5, it is still not present. Apple is testing this with many of its employees. It looks like they're going to ship it with the public release version of iOS 11.1, but no one from Apple has confirmed that and we don't really know for sure. We also don't have a release date for iOS 11.1 just yet, but Apple says on their Apple Pay site that Apple Pay Cash will be coming this fall, so I assume that iOS 11.1 will be shipping it sometime in the very near future. I think a really good timeline for release will be right around November 3rd when the iPhone 10 is coming to everyone, which is super exciting. That's right around the corner and I can't wait. Now as far as new changes in iOS 11.1 Beta 5 go, I have been unable to find anything that is new, which is sort of expected. There wasn't a whole lot new in Beta 3 or Beta 4. Now we're on beta 5, the megabyte size for this update was really tiny, and I even looked through the release notes to see if I could find any changes, and they are 1 to 1 identical between iOS 11.1 beta 4 and iOS 11.1 beta 5. Finally, I ran a Geekbench test to see if the performance in iOS 11.1 beta 5 was any better than previous betas or than iOS 11.0.3, and it's actually really strange because I swear to you, the smoothness and animations in iOS 11.1 beta 5 is better than any of the other betas that we've seen. So so far. But when I'm running the Geekbench test, it's one of the worst scores that I've gotten on my iPhone 8. 4102 for the single core score and 9902 for the multi core score. On a previous iOS 11.1 beta, on beta 2, I was getting 4199 for the single core and 10101. iOS 11.1 beta 1, I was getting 4141 for the single core and 9969 for the multi core. The performance is still really up in the air because even though the animations to me feel the smoothest and feel the best in beta 5, the Geekbench scores that I'm getting really aren't lining up with that. If you're running iOS 11.1 beta 5 or you've been on any iOS 11.1 beta so far, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it down below in the comment section and what new feature or change you're most excited about. As always, if new changes are discovered, I'll be sure to update the blog post down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video, dropping a like always helps me out. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.